everyone, welcome back. Um, as I said in my last video that I did, I I know it's really early for Christmas nails, okay? Everybody's doing Halloween nails. I've done so many Halloween acrylics and nail art. I just wanted to get onto the Christmas. It's, it's more fun, I think. Um, yeah, so it's never too early. Uh, it probably is, but not for me. Um, so I'm gonna do some traditional red and green. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do that. So my nail tips are on. These are from Shein. I will leave them in the link. I do like them. The extra long coffin. So those are on. I'm What I'm going to do first is um, just put a clear layer all over the top. Just a small bead. Nothing, you know, nothing too much. Oh, I need to move back a little bit. I'm sat too close. Um, yeah, so just a clear layer. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody okay? If you are um, enjoying my videos, then please leave some comments in there. Or like them, you know, all that snazzy jazz. Okay, so I only wanted to do like just a thin layer. I, I mainly do the thin layer because of the nail tip that's glued onto your natural nail. It kind of blends it in more. You haven't got that ridge. So, uh, right, I'm going to start off with the little one because it's my nightmare. So I'm using, I only had red, just plain red. It looks orange on camera. It's not. Maybe it's because the flash is on. No, it still looks orange. Um, yeah, so it is red. I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping it goes on all right, though. It really looks orange. It's not orange. Um, Savaland, I had red, but I had a couple of different glitters, like red glitters, so I've mixed it together because I want them to be glittery. So this one's just going to be a full red, and then we're going to do some gel polish little bits on there when it's dried and capped. So I'm only doing a thin layer because I do need to cap this nail. Oh, I just dropped it. No. Just drop the acrylic bead. Come on. Oh, this is this is not going to plan. Look at that. Ugh. Right, it might be... I might just have to pick up some small ones. Might have been a better idea if I just put red down and then just put glitter on top. That might have been a better idea, I think. Trying to spread it out because I don't want this nail to be thick. So whenever you're capping your nails and you're doing a design like this, you want it to be a thin coat. Just a thin coat. Otherwise, if you do, if you build it up with this, you can build it up with this. You know, like the apex and the structure and things like that. But then when you come to cap it, it's only going to, you're only going to have, you'll have to cap it quite thinly. So I'm hoping I haven't put too much acrylic in, that could be part of the problem. Maybe I, not acrylic, sorry, maybe I put too much glitter in there and that's why it's not picking up that well. I want to make sure the bottom is really, like, nice and red. There we go. So I've just got back from the hospital. I um I fell over, well I actually didn't fall over, I fell out the bath. <laughs> I was having a shower and my shower is over my bath and I climbed out two days ago, missed the mat that was on the floor and fell out. Just slipped on my lino and fell out. Yeah, uh, my shoulder, I, I actually landed on my left shoulder uh, so it kind of went behind me. Um, yeah, so my shoulder's actually quite bad. It hurts every now and then, but not enough to be, you know, I can still move it. I can still do daily things. I just can't move it in certain directions. Um, the sock, not the socket. It's, they basically called it a loose shoulder. So every now and then 
um, the piece of tissue that holds your shoulder together is come off. <laughs> Um, so the joint keeps coming out of place um, and it just dangles down my arm. It's so weird. It doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've got a physio. If that doesn't work, then I need surgery. There we go. Oh, I like that. It's quite nice. I just hope it dries okay. Um, <clears throat> this one is going to be green. So this one's going to be plain. Plain green. Glitter green. Then I'm going to do some like snow or icicle sort of things at the top. And I'm going to put some of this on there as well. It's little green and red Christmas trees and some snowflakes. I'm trying to stick to just two colours. So the green I'm using is from Savaland. It is in their Christmas collection. Um, but I used some of their acrylics the other day um, from the Christmas collection as well. And I can't find them anywhere I've looked I got them from Amazon and I can't see them on Amazon anymore so I don't know if they are selling this again or like at all anymore unless it's discontinued I don't know but I've looked and I can't see it anywhere um so I will try and link something similar but yeah it, it these I can't find them anywhere but it's just a green glitter acrylic really this one was already pre-made so there's no I haven't like mixed it myself or anything this one was already pre-made I only mixed the red one because I wanted the, a red glitter one and I didn't have any red glitter acrylics so I've done it myself go <clears throat> oh, I had to get up super early this morning. Well, I got up the same time as I normally would for work. But, um, yeah, I'm just really tired. Because I did go to bed quite late last night. Because I thought, well, I haven't got work. It's just a hospital appointment. And I can just chill out when I come home. I should be. I should have work. But because it's a hospital appointment, um, I get the day off. Just have to go careful of my arm. It's not like really painful. It's just if I'm getting dressed, pulling trousers up because you you do put your hand behind your back slightly, don't you, to pull your trousers up. That is what I'm struggling with. Um, that's when it actually hurts. So yeah, just have to go careful. All right. This bottom bit is still a tiny, tiny little bit clear. So the only thing with glitter acrylics, um, you brush, you know, you try and spread them out and some parts are still clear, some parts aren't. And <clears throat> when I use glitter, I'm really sorry for coughing, when I use glitter, it really clogs my brush up. that one <coughs> I am really sorry if I'm coughing so much this one this one's going to be quite difficult so it's going to be red in the middle and then it's going to be green glitter on the outs like it's, it's going to be a smile uh a nail bed so it's going to be red in the middle I need to remember that uh, actually, I don't know whether to do green. I think I'm going to have to do green because I think the red's going to be too chunky. So I need to try and build a smile line. Not a smile line, a nail bed. Quite like an extended one.
so the red <clears throat> when it's when it's dry I'm gonna just file this in a little bit more and then put the red either, either side if that makes sense so this one's going to be all red and then we're going to do um, some gel polish design on this one as well so I'm just going to try and spread this out but I still want to make sure that there is the, the colour that I want everywhere because if I just do that it just goes really quite clear on the end and I don't want that that's the only thing with you know using glitters they can be annoying and not they're not the easiest to use especially with chunky glitters like this because they are chunks some bits are really like fine and some bits are chunky It can be quite difficult as well to do the cuticle when you have chunky glitters, especially when they just want to sit up there. Okay. That's those ones. I mean, this one does look like it's gone quite chunky at the sides, but hopefully I can just file that. Okay, so I'm going to cap this one. Oh, wait, no, what was I doing? Um, This, was it this one? Yeah, this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of clear. All over the nail, just a thin layer. And stick some of these Christmas trees on. So obviously I'm not going to use red because they won't. You won't be able to see them. It's the wrong way. Like that. Oops, what do we think? Okay, so let me just cap this one. Just capping it. The what I'm using for my clear is now Republic. I've used it, I think, in the last few of my videos and I'm using the their monomer as well I do really like it it's actually really like creamy and buttery and it's super cheap yeah I do like it like that and then I need to get some more monomer I will be taking these nails off I can't do you know why? I absolutely envy girls that have long nails like this because they just look so pretty and I I can't do it because I'll end up ripping my nail off. I, I really mean that. I really cannot have long nails which is really disappointing because I want long nails. But I am not made for it. So I think this one should be all right. Seems fine. Once it's filed anyway, it'll be a lot better. Ugh. I don't want it to drip back, so I'm trying to go careful. I don't want to put it back like that when I do this one and it just all drip down. But okay, let me get some more monomer. Right. Cap this one. I'll probably um 
just like I don't know I'm I don't know if I'll cut this bit out because it just takes you know you've you've seen me do it Okay, be all right once it's filed. Oh, I'm nervous about this one. I really, really, really hope it goes okay. Praying it does. Um, yeah. This one's still rubbery. It is cold in here though. Let me just cap this one just to get it capped. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, we're doing some stuff on there. Okay, so we are doing some gel polish stuff afterwards on top so yeah um this isn't the finished look i'm not just going to cap them and that's it we haven't finished yet Let's just keep building. So I just finished off capping that one. I'm going to go in and file this without getting it. God, they actually feel heavy. It, this, if I can. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, it, yeah, I was just checking it is dry. It felt a little bit tacky there, but I'm just going to go in and do it anyway. Um, I might have to do this off... Uh, off camera because these these now tips are like super pinched oh you can't see they're really pinched um so it's going to be quite difficult i'm gonna have to do it like baby ish if not i'm just gonna have to just go straight in with that red and just oh my god do my best might not work it might work it might not work who knows i definitely don't know <laughs> this is why i never do uh, extended nail beds on long nails because i cannot do them okay <clears throat> i'm gonna leave that like that because again we are doing um gel polish on the outside so don't be alarmed with that okay right this one's dry so i might file this on camera and i will do the rest off i will cap this one off camera and then we can do the gel polish afterwards so i'll just do this one on camera just pull the skin back Oh, 
focus. This is what why I hate <clears throat> hate doing my little finger because this finger, this green one here, gets in the way. I don't know why I do my little finger on camera because it's the worst for me to actually do. Okay, right. Just gonna go around that cuticle nice and gently. You don't want to cut yourself. This is what I have to do, I have to put my thumb under there so I don't snap it off. Especially when I've got a base coat on because they do come off quite a while a lot easier. So if I put even that, if I just do that and fire it, it's going to ping off. Because I've got a bit, obviously with a base coat, I haven't primed it, I haven't de dehydrated. So you do want to kind of go careful if you're doing that. Do the rest off camera and I'm all filed, <clears throat> all buffed. Right, I might pull you in a little bit. Um, yeah, all filed and buffed. What I'm gonna do now, I have dusted them off, but I just look how nice and shiny they are underneath, and then bam, gross. Okay, so I've got this brush, it came in a kit, it's number two, it's just plastic, never used it before. Um, just got a little lid. Just with a bit of white gel polish on. I'm using this brush because it is um, long, and I've never. I usually use a really short brush, but I've seen people using like it is a bit bent though. Is that normal? Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go. And just bring it down if I can. I mean, I don't really think I like this brush. Eh. Mm, might be a bit thick, but I will go all the way up to this corner. I've only ever done this once with 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 gel like this. Um. Okay, this is the angle I might struggle with. This angle. I know it is the key is to keep the brush bent like that, I think. Hopefully when it's top coated, you'll be able to see it properly, you know, the red and the green, because ideally I don't want to cover the red too much with white. I did want it to be a little bit thinner. I should have gone for a smaller brush. I have got a couple of these. But what I want to do is I want to just bring this bit in more and make it thicker in that part. There's always one angle that I struggle with. Concentration is real, honestly. Okay, these brushes are actually all right. It's not too bad. Obviously, they're not the best because they're probably not professional, but 
gonna do the trick. Um, that's gonna have to do because I'm. <laughs> that really is the best I can do. Okay, this one. I don't know if I should use this brush for this. Um, which way do I want to? I'm gonna have to do it this way. So I want to just do like a little line. like that bring it a bit more closer if i can and then i'm going to do like a thick one oh, i actually really like this brush why have i never this is why i've never used them because oops this is what they're like they're all like real sparse but then i just rub this one through gel polish and it's just gone back together so maybe that's what you're supposed to do this one I'm going to do quite thick, so I am trying to make sure you can see as well. It's on, it's not on the best angle. Let's fill it in. Come on, pick up. Probably should have top coated the nails first and then done this over the top but it'll be okay. Like that. Thin one again, just here. like that <clears throat> and then another thick one probably like here just filling it in Oops. didn't round the nail off very well it's a bit square on the edge but it'd be okay okay so there's that one. line right so um this one i was going to do some <clears throat> icicles on there i will try it if they don't look good i can just wipe them off I need some more gel polish. It's mad how much you actually need to use. Okay, there we go. Um, just knocked that as well. See? There we go. Okay, right, icicles. Probably should have used the long one really, shouldn't have I? The longer brush, never mind. <gasps> Keep see. This is why you should cure in between, because they they do get knocked otherwise. That's exactly what I keep doing. I keep knocking it. I've never been very good at doing like the icicle kind of look. What do we think? Too much, isn't it? I think that's too much. So I'm just going to wipe it off and we'll just stick to the two that have got gel polish on already. Yeah, we will. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I will cure these and then I will be back and we can top coat. Okay, so I did do some little dots on that one, just like little snow dots. Now to top coat, and let's see what they look like. Okay. Mm. 
I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of background noise. The bin men have just turned up. That one. I'll do the rest off camera and I'll be back. And this is the final result. I've just put um, some cuticle oil on. I've just dropped it. Um, yeah, this one. OPI. And um, that's what it looks like. Sorry, my partner's just come back for his lunch and my dog's barking under the gate. Um, yeah, that's what they look like. Um, you can obviously see the red at the sides if I turn it sideways for this one. But um, you can't really see it from the front. But that's what they look like. I I do actually really, really, really like them. You can see all the little glitter and shard bits inside. Focus camera. Yeah. So let me know what you think. And please leave a comment. And please like my video if you did like it. And you think you, you enjoyed it. And you might even try and do the set actually. If you are a YouTuber, why don't you try and recreate this set? Mm, that'd be good. Um, yeah, so, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!